hi everyone welcome to student corner today we will uh, talk about the topic called as percentages how percentages is useful and what are the models of percentages that we do first of all let us understand percentage percent is for every hundred we use this for every hundred percent so this is the symbol that is used for every hundred so now uh, there's some question over here in a test the pass percentage was 35 percent a student who wrote it got 230 marks and still he is failed by 15 marks means if at all he not he needs to pass he needs to get 230 plus 15 which is 245 so in the form of percentages it is given 35 percentage as 230 plus 5 which is nothing but 245 so now we need to find out find the maximum mark as we know uh, in percentages the maximum mark is 100 so what is 100 percentage so 35 percentage is 245 we need to find out what is 100 percentage 100 into 245 by 35 so if at all you can calculate we'll get i'll show you like 100 into 245 divided by 35 so as we are much more aware about the concept of tables and all rather than cancelling about the 100 we can directly cancel it is 36 is 180 and 37 is 210 so 35 7 are definitely will be cancelled so 7 into 100 is 700 so what is your option 700 so this is about the first basic model in percentage this is something an equational model in percentage is if 45 percent of a number we you and i don't know what is the number so let us assume 45 percent is by 100 of a number x is means is equal to 45 more more means plus than 12 percent of 750 so 12 percent is for every 100 of 750 so this is what given so now we need to find out what is 30 percent of x since we need to find out what is 30 percent of x let us calculate what is 12 percent of 750 so 10 per 100 percentage is 750 10 percentage is 75 since 10 percentage is 75 1 percentage is 7.5 and 2 percentage is 15 so 12 percentage is how much we will be getting 75 plus 15 which is nothing but 90 so let us do it's 45 plus 90 so what is 45 percent of x is equal to it is 135 which is nothing but it is very clearly 45 uh, one zero is 45 45 two zero is 90 45 three zero so we got x is equal to 300 but it's not the calculated value is asking about what is 30 percent of x whenever is asking about the 30 percent of x let us calculate what is 30 percent of 300 30 percent of 300 is nothing but zero zeros gets cancelled the value is 90 so our fourth option is our answer but whenever the question is given like this we need to since it is a basic model i showed you through form of options and all but if at all we are a bit clever we can take the options substitute the options and then we can solve the problem like if at all 30 percentage is 90 then what is 100 percentage obviously 300 because 33 is 90 103 is 300 so let us fix that what is 45 percent when 30 percentage is 90 45 percentage of 300 obviously will be 135 so is that 135 equal to him or not so that's how we can also check the options anyways next question next model this is the price per liter of petrol increases by 20 percent now the question is by what percentage of the consumption be reduced <clears throat> this is a general old model in every percentage question is like whenever a particular increase is there definitely there should be a particular decrease so we need to know a certain rule always whenever it is a percentage increase is there there will definitely a percentage decrease the best way of solving the problem 
is since the percentage increase is given as 20 percent so what is 20 percent 20 percent is nothing but in the form of a fraction is 1 by 5 now I need to know what is the percentage decrease so the percentage decrease is nothing but simply write the numerator and add both numerator and denominator is 1 by 6 what is 1 by 6 16.66 percent so whenever there is a 20 percent increase then what is the percentage decrease 16.66 but when it comes to height weight or marks or something like that whatever the percentage whatever the increase is there the same decrease will be there but when it comes to percentage it's not like that so as we have discussed about this example i want to show you one more example like if at all percentage decrease is given then what is percentage increase let us take an example the cost of the rice is decreased by 25 percent whenever the cost of the rice is decreased by 25 percent definitely the usage will be increased we all know 25 percentage is 1 by 4 here in percentage increase we need to find percentage decrease we added here write the same numerator and what we need to do subtract what is 4 minus 1 3 what is 1 by 3 33 point percent so this is how we can scale up whenever percentage increase is given how do we do percentage decrease and percentage decrease is given how do we do percentage increase now <coughs> the next model is the price of an article is increased by 30 percent and then decreased by 30 percent there is an increase there is a decrease what is the final price the final price is given as 5460 and its original price means we we want what is the original price so it's whenever the question is given like this let us use the universal rule a plus b plus a b by 100 where a is whatever the percentage increase is given is let us use a positive sign whenever percentage decrease is given let us use a negative sign so now increase plus 30 decrease minus 30 plus 30 into minus 30 by 100 Whenever it is like this, plus 30 minus 30 gets cancelled, 0, 0, 0, 0 gets cancelled, the resultant is minus 9. What do you mean by minus 9? It is 9% decrease. So whenever it is 9% decrease, it is very crystal clear, 91% because 100 minus 9 is 91. That 91% is 5460. is asking what is 100 percentage. What is our 100 percentage? 9654, 6. So he is talking about 160Z. What is 160Z? 6000. Therefore, what is our option? Our first option is our answer. So this is a very good model and very major model in percentages. Now comes using the same model and applicative kind of a question. Alok spends 35% of his monthly income on rent, 20% of his remaining monthly income on the medicines. So 30% of his remaining monthly income on education and saves his remaining monthly income. There are two ways of solving using A plus B plus AB by 100 and as well we can also use 100. So out of 100 initially 35% has been done now we have 65 because 35% of 100 is clearly 35. Now out of this remaining 65 20% what is 20% of 65? 20% of 65 is nothing but 13. So, why? Because it is 21, sir, and this is 25, sir, and this is 513, sir. Now, this 13 should be deducted. Why? Because again, you are talking about the remaining. Now, it is 52. Now, out of this 52, again 30%. What is 30% of 52? Since 10 percentage is 5.2, 52 is 15.6. Again, we need to subtract this 15.6 from 52. So, now, how much is this? 36.4. Now this 36.4 is percent left out and the savings is 36.4 percent which is nothing but 1820 that's what given 1820 rupees has been saved is asking what is this find is monthly income we assumed our monthly income is 100 percentage so observing carefully 36 Pfizer is 180 and as well as 4 Pfizer is 20 it is clearly mapped with 36.4 percent into 50 therefore what is 100 into 50 5000 therefore what is our 100 percentage 5000 or you can also go with the options saying that what is 5035 percent removing and all you can also check with the options as well